What's up, dude? Watching some Vinny Price. There's something about Vincent Price that I just immediately dig, and I, don't, I think it's just like his... It's because, like, they considered him creepy back in the day. But he's, like, such a gentleman. Instead of saying big dick energy, I'm gonna say big price energy. Yo, his brows are on fleek. <laughs> in case he gets pulled over. I can be in the carpool lane. I got two dead bodies. I can get rid of them later. Right now, I'm out of gas. Yeah, vampires hate carts. They insist on carrying everything with their hands. They're that stubborn shopper that's like, no, I can make it work. I can make it work. And they just have like 16 things in their arms. I don't need a cart. I don't need it. Been alive for a thousand years. I don't need a fucking cart. <laughs> Scopels for mirrors. That store sells nothing but mirrors? That's their business? Look, we're just passionate about mirrors. We're passionate about reflection. We're passionate about interior design. Hey, I need a mirror. What kind? Well, I mean, I just need a mirror. Uh, there's all kinds of mirrors. It'll be dark in a Uh, I'm sorry, are you questioning the strength of Vince Vincent Price? That dude was Dwayne the Rock Johnson of his day. Alright? He always wears full sleeves, because if you saw his arms, you'd be like, holy shit, that man could manhandle a bear. Yeah, one swing Vince. He was also called that with the ladies. Because all he needs is one swing. <laughs> he puts the... <laughs> he puts the, uh... The record on, it's just like, how low can you go? How low can you go? Sorry, got on a ludicrous kick this week. Morgan. Come out. Come out. Come out. <laughs> they're not even vampires, they're just his bro homies. Vincent, let's go to the club. What the fuck, Vincent? Really? You're gonna use your daylight to go to church? You're like the last human on earth, man. You're. Guess where the church is? It's you. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, or is he paying respects to a child grave? Oh, oh, my face. I need a shave. My hair is terrible. He only does it to one. There's like 18 of them. Man, party hats sucked back in the day. <laughs> that looks like just a bunch of garbage on people's heads. Hey, look at that. <laughs> what, the... <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of circus is this? Did circus? Did circuses back in the day have chimpanzee bands? Just like every other household, the woman has to... Keep it all together while the man reads the fucking paper. Morgan. He cuts it himself. That one guy's like, Morgan. fuck his, <laughs> fuck his seats. <laughs> You're gonna feel better. <laughs> you now Ben's calling a ten minute timer. Someone, okay. someone clock it at ten minutes from now. <laughs> You know, sometimes you gotta kill a couple dogs to end an apocalypse. What? <laughs> it wasn't on Ben's timeline, but it was killed in 1 minute and 49 seconds. <laughs> ben, ben was off by 8 minutes. <laughs> it's a simple matter to find out whether you are or not. It's because he fought Batman. <laughs> it's not that Vince is Batman, it's because he fought Batman. What? Up there! Oh, damn. Puts a modern warfare in his ass. Get 
perfect dismount. He got a 10. Oh. Zach gave him, a, Zach gave him an 8. <laughs> they were afraid. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea they to be like, afraid. You assholes. You assholes with your no. weapons pointed at me. Since we haven't... We didn't really talk about uh, the last man on Earth uh, after the movie. Maybe we'll do a discussion now. I dug it a lot. I liked it a lot better than Omega Man. I liked it a lot better than I Am Legend. Uh, it was closer than the book, which is not really why I liked it. I think you can adapt a book and, and make changes and it can be good. Um, I didn't like how, how they adapted this a little bit in certain areas, but I liked it a lot. And... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to agree with Felix. I think we're doing House on Haunted Hill because it this just looks so much fun, and it's Vincent. It's Vincent in a uh, in another scary role, in another scary movie. Uh, Omega Man is the second adaptation of I Am Legend into a movie. There was the uh, Last Man on Earth, Omega Man, and then Will Smith's I Am Legend. Uh. And Omega Man, I did not like as much. There was more emphasis on guns, and the characters were less, even less vampire-like. They were more like white zombies, kind of like this, but they were very, very white and weird. Uh, and also, I, I'm not a fan of Charlton Heston as much as some other folk are, so I didn't like it uh, as much as this which is the last man on earth um other than that i mean looks like the conversation really died when i brought it back to talking about it i don't know i i, I dug it i dug it a lot especially for how old the movie is and how slow paced it is i dug it i dug it a lot more than uh than uh, omega man and i i dug it more than I Am Legend simply because I think I Am Legend really by making the vampires super unintelligent to where like they don't even speak I think it kind of ruins the point of that story and it uses the title from the book which is weird Ow. yeah just gotta itch right on the temple um, but that's why I think they changed the title of the, to The Last Man on Earth, because I Am Legend, as a title, doesn't really make a lot of sense with the way they adapt the story. Um, Omega Man makes more sense, and Last Man on Earth makes more sense. But I Am Legend, the title, makes sense if you have the ending of the book. Which, the ending of the book is this character, Robert Neville, I believe. He has been spending years and years and years capturing, murdering, and experimenting on these vampire-like creatures to figure out why they act the way they do. And he comes up with scientific theories as to why they can't go out in sunlight, why they hate garlic, why they can't look at themselves in the mirror. And it's very kind of um, bland scientific reasoning why these vampire creatures cannot deal with these things and then in the book he he gets visited from a female who seems to be human and then she reveals after capturing him and putting him in a prison that the vampires some of them have figured out how to survive in the daytime they have started their own society where they're intelligent and they're, they have their own government and schools and things like that uh, earmarks of a society, even the prison that he's in now. And they have to capture Robert and they have to execute him for murdering countless members of their society because he has become a monster to them. And then there's this conversation with her and Robert at the end at his cell about how all societies kind of have um, brutal beginnings and they have brutal sacrifices and Robert has to be one. So I think they were going to hang him publicly 
and she gives them the option to take uh, cyanide pills. Uh, and he realizes to himself that the vampire society has become the new normal, and he has become the fairy tales and legends in that society as a man who goes around murdering them and experimenting on them. And that's why the end of the book, I Am Legend, is so important, because he says, I have become the monsters. I have become the legends that this society is scared of. And that's why this last man on Earth kind of gets it the closest, where Omega Man, you know, Omega Man plays a little savior mo move where he's trying to figure out a cure and then he meets a ragtag group and then they, you know, ride into the sunset at the end with a possible cure. Um, yeah, that's why, like, that's why when I see adaptations of it, especially Omega Man, which is like... Yeah, you know, they're they're like zombie vampires, whatever, but Charlton Heston gets an automatic rifle, murders a bunch of them, rides a motorcycle, bangs a, a very foxy black lady. And it's like, well, that's not the point of the story, dog. Like, the isolation and the... And the um, what's the word? The isolation, the psychological torment of being the last person and trying to deal with all of these horrific monsters is part one but then part two is realizing oh if they have figured out how to live with their conditions and i live outside those conditions and am murdering them i'm actually a monster and i understand now why they want to kill me every night and another thing that the book does which is like one of the reasons i like this one a little bit more the vampires are intelligent enough to go to his place at night and try to get him to come outside by like they try to trick him they try to make him believe that uh they're healed one part of the book they have a bunch of attractive female vampires just get naked on his front lawn like trying to get him to come out and, and bed down with a bunch of naked vampires and they they're clearly intelligent but to him they are they are diseased and they need to be cured and they've formed a society and figured out no this is this is the monster we need to get rid of this so it's it reading that and then seeing like omega man or seeing i am legend where they've turned in i am legend they're just dumb like barely like they have no reason uh i should have the music on because it's just me pontificating hold on hold it the music will kind of... Nope, nope, that's the wrong one. This is the right one, Kirk. Get it together. Uh, why? Why did it disappear? Did I accidentally close it out? I certainly did. I deedly d. A dumbass is who I am. Um. Here we go. There we go. Now, me talking about adaptations is sexy. <laughs> um, but for reals, uh, the... Welcome back to I Am Legend Talk with me, Kirk Has Glasses. The... The reason I didn't like I Am Legend is because I, <laughs> I literally watched it. Like, I read the book and then I went to go watch it, and the vampires are dumb. Like, they're really, like, they don't have any, they don't speak, they don't, they don't seem to have any logic to them. And in the book, it's like, that, that doesn't work, because then why is he a legend? And then the way that the Will Smith movie kind of wraps it together at the end, where it's like, he's the legend that figured out the cure, and it's like, no, that's stupid. That's that's cheap sauce. That's cheap-ass weak sauce. Um, you could have made it better, especially because the beginning of the Will Smith I Am Legend, I think, is great. 
where Will Smith is is dealing with life alone in New York City, where it's like one of the most populated areas in the world, and now there's no human in it, and he's just making all that work around him. But um, then it, it comes in with that bullshit at the end that uh, you know it just cheapens the story. I think the last man on earth kind of gives it a little more gives it a little more pr props to the original story and omega man i think was just kind of like a shitty uh charles heston did great planet of the apes he did good in soil and green let's just give him another sci-fi thing what about last man on earth but we'll make him a hero um anyway i mean we're coming to the end here coming to the end of this smooth, jazzy stream. I hope you liked it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I think this was fun. I hope, uh... I hope as they continue I'll be able to get as many people as I did today to talk with about the film and enjoy it with me. I also hope that the sound is decent every time we do it. I also hope to get this music on a loop uh, because this music, I think, really elevates the whole feel of the stream. Uh, and yes, Friday night, and just to make sure of the time, I am going to go to the, my own schedule that I said. Fridays, uh, Friday at 8, 8 p.m. Friday. Be there. Uh, it'll be House on Haunted Hill, um, Vincent Price goodness, horror. Uh, we'll see if the jumps and the spooks and the scares work. Uh, almost. Holy shit, look at that. 60 years later? Fucking ass. 1959. So yeah, that's 60 years ago. We're gonna see if a horror from 60 years ago works today uh, in the, the 2020s. Um, thanks again for hanging out. Hopefully I'll see you on Friday and hopefully I'll see more of you, period. Have a good one. Keep watching movies. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Enjoy yourselves. And enjoy the smooth tones of this song on Kirk Has Glasses. Christian Mingle is such a bad movie. Christian Mingle is a one on, is an hour and a half commercial for Christianity and Christian dating with some of the worst actors I've ever seen and the worst message I've ever seen, which is if you pretend to be Christian, you'll become Christian and you'll get some dick on top of it. Which I mean, isn't that the, isn't that every woman's dream to meet a very attractive model esque man? who also happens to be Christian and saves Mexico with Jesus. <laughs>